Hi, hello, this is Mars and I'm doing something special, something very important, something very impactful, something I've been working for the past couple of couple of weeks, couple of months, if not years, like a big accomplishment. I'm just about to publish a smart contract to the Ethereum mainnet, you know, testnet, automated tests, corrections. I have the like a launch checklist. Boom, 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 boom. I tried this checklist on the testnet. I withdrawn a real Ethereum from Binance. You know, it's this risky, expensive operations. Well, even if I fail, okay, I can always try again. It's not like, it's not live system connected to the, all the nuclear devices. Like it's not that stressful, but it is stressful. And I tried to prepare and because it is important, it is a really important event, I just decided to preserve the moment. Like I'm talking to this little uh, glowing rectangle, I'm, I'm talking to my phone. Uh, hopefully you will not see anything too embarrassing, you know, just coding editors, notes, command line. I really tried to prepare well. I really tried to do my best. No, sometimes shit happens, like you never know, you never know, you never know. But I really did everything as they, well, <laughs> I, I really did my best, okay? I did my best, I put my best foot forward. You have only one chance to make first impression. Here we have uh, real money on the line, it is, you know, to deploy to the main net is like one ETH worth of gas, which is not cheap these days. Uh, it's, it is a challenge. It is a challenge. And actually, just to be extra sure, I need to do one something, one something thing. Hope you will excuse me. There's a mask. I just need to do something, uh, something private. And I don't want your algorithmic AI see my screen while I'm touching my private keys, okay? So bear with me a second. Security hygiene, wear a mask. Okay, okay. It is scary, trust me. Touching all these keys and all this if and all that stuff, it is scary. And when you do the recording, hmm, it is, but I can handle it, right? We can solve any problems. We can solve any problems. We can solve any issues. Everything, you know, like how man was put on the moon. I think it was the sheer willpower. I actually uh, believe that uh, that was sheer willpower. The Kennedy said we will put a man on the moon by the end of a decade and that was the government policy that was like uh okay this is the goal this is the plan this is what we do this is this was the the goal this was the plan okay so putting man on the moon how man was put on the moon uh, let, let's say like flat earth conspiracy theories there's quite a lot of evidence that the moon landing did happen but it was a sheer effort of willpower commitment dedication it was the uh this cold war space race and it was amazing and before the moon race there was also the say arctic exploration the the guys from the england and the guys from norway they were challenging each other that the one guys arrived like five weeks later you know how many how many years no one accomplished this feat and then you know five weeks this is this accomplishment this is this challenge and competition so i feel greatly enthusiastic greatly motivated i'm checking the gas prices uh you know it says slow is at 160 so I will, it is not urgent, it is not urgent and I can wait a little bit. I will put at 170, I'm just, I 
can look this I don't want to be cheap <laughs> yeah I don't want to be cheap right uh, but I'm just checking the gas prices to just to see what's going on it has to be deployed today because we have a 4 420 very important date my favorite number I'll just choose my favorite number 170 170 is my very good number which is maybe a little bit slow and maybe you will need to bear with me with my very crappy not funny at all jokes but yeah let's do it traffic truffle deploy truffle migrate network main net and it is it is indeed a big impactful moment in the history of humanity well, let's do it right <sighs> setting the intention travel migrate network mainnet you know i'll just do one one more thing if if deployment to rinkeby works you you can never be too sure it's like a one one minute like on rinka b it's uh, almost instant oh it's actually it told me an error because it was already deployed i'll just delete it uh, okay i'll try again it is scary it is stressful it is important it is like holy Okay, it's still deploying. Uh, I can like walk you through the uh, document. It has around 36 pages, uh, loads of images. So there's a flow. I will deploy it to uh, Ethereum. Then I will update this document. Then I will do some uh, referencing about upload to IPFS, save the hash, update the JSON file, then JSON goes to IPFS as well. Then this, uh, it's just self-referencing self. You know, it's a little bit complicated. I actually tried to do some more rocket science engineering, uh, like create two, which I can pre-populate this contract address uh, but it was causing some issues with this plugin to verify the contracts it was honestly i've spent a fair amount of time thinking how to pre-populate the self-referencing hashes of everything and i thought like it is so complicated and it's so error prone and it's not really solving other than like a vanity like a interesting technical challenge okay fuck it let's do it okay uh, the ring can be worked so now i'll do the same with mainnet omg i am so sh i'm so it's like maybe i feel like a like a, like a guy or girl or boy or like before a first date main fuck it i press enter i press enter i feel like a it was working for rinkeby and now i am deploying this for the main net and it seems like there we have a transaction hash we have a transaction hash it is likely to take it is likely to take a while because i put 170 it's you know i'm not trading it is not that time critical if it is like five minutes or ten minutes it's you will have me talking about stuff you will have me talking about stuff which is not that bad and now as i'm looking closer to this little uh um, screen you can see that raper university of heroes this is one of my principles uh i have many principles one of them is effective altruism i'll just quickly check this transaction is whether it's been sent already oh yeah i see uh, you can see the transaction hashes the withdrawal from binance so i have the uh, uh money to pay for the gas 
uh, and also this transaction has been pending I was thinking which account to use and I just decided to use my uh, personal account that is actually you can dox me I have this is like one of these principles Edward Snowden surveillance and privacy and I realized you know what this is the game I will never ever win I can wear a tinfoil hat I can be like Richard Stallman that is religious about free software. He's actually a head of the church free software foundation. And I, I agree with a lot of their uh, principles. I, I agree with a lot of the points they're making and I realize actually I will not win this game. That I can either win, uh, play the game of privacy surveillance. I will never win because uh, against my nature, I like extrovert, attention seeking, spotlight. I like it. This is me. Okay, this is me. Someone is introvert, mm, a little bit shy, prefers a different type of food, different type of music, a different type of something. So I am not in the camp of uh, free software, Stallman, tinfoil hat, uh, Snowden. I'm much in the camp of transparency. Life is a gift, to live is an art. I really want to like an artist is shaping the creation, some masterpiece. I want my life to be a masterpiece. So I have, I'm, I'm enjoying sharing. I'm not using social media that much simply because their incentive is not aligned with my incentive. I'm just aware that they do not have my own well-being at their heart. So chasing likes, chasing clicks, is not something that will bring me a uh, long-lasting happiness it is true uh, that uh, likes clicks i was uh, there was a time there was a time when i was chasing these uh, things and literally maybe because i wasn't using it consciously maybe because i wasn't successful maybe because i had the wrong intention or wrong priorities i i think that chasing uh, likes on the internet it destroyed my real life so maybe that is why in this life i am uh, as like yeah been there done that tried i wasn't this is true actually this is true i was chasing likes in on the internet rather than spending quality time with the loved ones so now i have a different strategy different objectives different incentives uh yeah it, it can take a while because i put 170 uh, it's sooner or later it will be mined uh you know i can zoom zoom in these these numbers maybe you can see okay so my phone ran out of storage the gas fees was very high I spent like one eve more than one eve on an deployment okay it's the cost of playing the game the checklist completed tick box tick box tick box tick box look I did everything I can to make it happen okay and as an individual, there's this phrase, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. I did my part. And I think of that the work that I did is the best work I can possibly do. Uh, right now, I'm actually asking for help and support. Please get yourself a passport if you agree with this foundational framework of the reality. If you if you think that this, yeah, it just makes sense. Like, okay, this is big shift in the history of the humanity. The agricultural revolution was a big deal because from hunter-gatherer to settlements, to cities, that was a big deal. That was actually, wow, civilizational shift. Industrial revolution, the steam power, the railways, the factories, the industries, like that was also a 
pretty big shift. Like it's everything changes, transportation, goods, manufacturing, trade, like. And right now we have the uh, digital revolution combined with AI revolution combined with blockchain revolution and the drone revolution and it's called convergence of exponentials plus climate change plus flying to Mars plus AI singularity all happening all at once and uh, jurisdictions going digital and uh, blockchain consciousness and uh, this GPT-3 and Sophia robot and the uh, helicopter on Mars. This is just nuts and all happening at once, like psh. So yeah, I'm just trying to play it cool. And one of my mantras is I'm doing what I can with what I have, because this vision is big. You cannot just explain, you know, this video is already way too long. And if you start with the agricultural revolution and the industrial revolution and what is happening right now, this is not like once in a lifetime, not in the once in a century, once in a millennial, once in a, once in a humanity transition to digital super intelligence, AI, blockchain, singularity, expansion to other planets and outer space. So, honor to be alive. I did my part. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep because I need to wake up with fresh energy, just preserving my energy levels for tomorrow. Tomorrow, very busy day. Like, okay, I did the checklist, right? I did this. Did, 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 did. Okay, that's good. And now... Let's, you know, 